Good morning and Shavua Tov to everybody. Welcome to another week Be'ezat Hashem of, of Chizuk, of growth. Uh, I want to thank the many people who I couldn't believe even are watching this and listen to the daily Chizuk for giving me the Chizuk that you listen to it. Um, unbelievable. Some very good friends uh, that I love very much and um, I hope you continue to enjoy it. So we're up to Ashrei right now in the Sidur and you know, everybody wants to talk about Ashrei because Ashrei, the reason why Ashrei is in the entire tefillah is because of the pasuk of Poteah et Yadecha Umazbiyah And that talks about the fact that Hashem gives panasa to anyone who needs it. And that's a very important part of our day. But I don't want to focus on that pasuk. I want to focus on the pasuk. Karov Hashem lechol koreav. Hashem is close to all that, cry, that call out to Him. Lechol asher yikra'uhu be'emet. To all those who call out to Him, honestly, earnestly. So the Abu Draham on this pasuk says something beautiful. He says there's no vav. It's all one idea. It's not two different ideas. It's not that Hashem is close to anyone who calls out to Him. And to anyone who calls him out, no, it's not, there's no end. It's, it's, it's explaining what's happening over here. There's only one way to call out to Hashem. And that's truthfully. And let me tell you the true battle that we have. I have. I don't want to talk for anybody else. We think we have an issue. And we do, we have a problem. We, we need money for something. We have things that we have to pay for. We have a problem. We have a health issue. We have a shiduchim. We have it, right? So in our mind, we say, hmm, how can I get out of this problem? So we, we come up with all strategies of how we can get out of it. And then we, then we pray to Hashem. That's not called calling out to Hashem be'emet. Truly calling out to Hashem is really, really, really saying, Hashem, this is what's going on. I'm going to do my best. But I'm, I'm not going to strategize while I pray to you. Maybe you have an idea that's better. Because as, as it's brought down in Chovot HaLevavot, that if a person puts and really relies on God, Hashem will take care of it. But if he starts to come up with his own plans of how he's going to take care of it, Hashem says, okay, go with your plans. If you don't want to go with my plans, go with your plans. So this is what it means. Let's call out to Hashem honestly and earnestly, fully, and say, Hashem, I'm putting it in your hands. Now there's a certain amount of of effort that we have to put, but we put our effort and we do what we have to do. For example, a person has to pay for a wedding. He, he works, he does what he has to do, and now he goes to pray to Hashem. If while he's praying to Hashem, he's thinking about all the different ways that he's going to get the money from here, let Hashem do his job. Let Hashem take care of it. There's many ways, and I'll just give you a quick story. I don't usually do this, but I get a little hezuk out of nowhere. You know, I was thinking about different things going on, I have to pay for it, whatever. The same, I'm, I'm in the same boat. All of a sudden, I get a letter from the city of New York. We're going to give you a card because you're on reduced lunch program for March, April, and May and June to feed your kids for up to $400 a month. The time passed already. <laughs> the time passed. It's already now July. But they're giving money for that. Who... Could I ever strategize? Hmm, how am I going to pay my bill? I have a thousand dollar bill. How can I pay the bill? Would I ever strategize that I'm going to get a card from the government to pay for the months ago money? Never. Let Hashem do his job. Call out to him, Be'emet. Have a beautiful day.